that's called defense that's called pull shot rahul dravid used to play this best sachin tendulkar used to play this one how did i do this see wrist movement that's called flick shot remember those sessions that we used to have in school with shinod sir cricket practice in the last few hours of the day i'm sure you must miss it my dear children welcome back to yet another enchanting session of english literature brought to you by your favorite pratik sir and pratik sir has a bat with him today as you can see because i used to play cricket when i was young and i am a big cricket fanatic even today now this bat has a lot of history okay as you see the condition of the bat is not that good right but i have preserved it well it's about preserving old things rather than buying new at times because this has got lot of memories from my childhood days my dear friends so students i bought this bat when i was in my college days but i still have it with me today i have kept it i see there are a lot of taping which i have done but that's the beauty of having things which are vintage old things okay so now that i am playing cricket with this bat again right can you guess the name of our next lesson fantastic my dear children it's on cricket okay how many of you love to play cricket do girls love to play cricket i'm asking all of you you should play cricket because remember today just like the men's world cup we have women's world cup also okay so it is about giving equal rights to both genders right there should be no discrimination between a girl and a boy today hmm? that ensures a developed society so today's chapter my dear children is the next chapter of english literature and that is the malgudi cricket club okay have you heard the name of malgudi before well malgudi is a village in rural india rural south india and whenever you hear the name of this village called malgudi one name comes to your mind and that is rk narayan any indian household is incomplete my dear children if you do not have rk narayan's novels in your library in your house okay so let let's come to the chart let me give you some more information this chapter has got lot of facts and information okay but i'm sure with the mind map it will be easy for you so the name of our chapter malgudi cricket club can you see the stumps these are called stumps okay wickets here is a ball and is a bat this has been adapted from malgudi days backdrop well when rk narayan wrote this story it's basically about a child whose name was swaminathan back then india wasn't free when this story was written okay so the backdrop okay the historical setting of this particular story is british india i think this story was written somewhere around 1896 long back hmm? author rk narayan characters whenever you read this story you will see there are three friends swaminathan raja and mani Let's come to some of the important vocabulary. There aren't much of new vocab, but there are few important words. First word is idyllic. Look at the spelling. I D Y D L L I C. Idyllic means perfect, pleasant. You will come across this word when you read the first line of your story, first sentence of your story. Second word, clustered. You know what's a cluster is? Cluster is a group. Okay, so it's like whenever there is a gathering, we call that it's a cluster. skeptical now very important you see in english there are two forms one is american english the other one is british english we follow british english in our schools or formal work it's about difference in spelling but both are correct you will come across a word called skeptical skeptical means to be doubtful about something to be apprehensive hmm? so that word can be s k e p t i c a l it can also be s c e p T I C A L, both are correct. There is another word called admonition. Admonition. Admonition means warning. Now, before I take you to the story, you will see that in this particular story, friends are deciding to create a cricket club. Okay, not a team. It's a club, right? So when you make a formal club, it could be a kite flying club, club or a sports club or a cricket club okay so there are a lot of legal things which need need to go and get into place legal paperwork hmm? so you need to 
first you need to go and register your club with the government right and once you do that you need to pay some taxes hmm? so this taxes regime was started by the british government and even today we do have to pay taxes for any of the things that we do in our country because india is a developing country and with these taxes the governments help to build proper infrastructure in the city like schools hospitals roads right so it's very important that we should pay the taxes on time right so when they were deciding see the controversy started when they thought of naming the cricket club so there were some names which were suggested and some of the names were friends 11 jumping stars friends union excelsior union be very careful with the spelling and champion 11 right none of, none of the names seem to work until this name was finalized mcc okay now there was another problem here you see when rajam told swaminathan that we should go with malgudi cricket club but you look at the abbreviation it is mcc well there was a player back then by the name of jack hobbs he was a batsman when he was young he was very shy and skeptical that he could never play cricket possibly in his life but when he grew up he found that he was very talented as a cricketer the name of his club was mcc you will find that in the footnote of the chapter okay it's a club from london so they thought that if we put mcc then there will be a clash right and when they when you take somebody else's name without his or her permission that's called copyright infringement or piracy so you cannot do that because there are legal consequences so all these things actually went on in their minds when they were thinking of the name so let's start the chapter here is a mind map more than mind map it's a chapter flow you will get an idea of what are the important events in the chapter first one swami nathan left albert mission school and he joined board school the reason why swami nathan was dropped out from his previous school was stubbornness and arrogance next rajam showed up one afternoon and he gave the idea of starting a cricket team so one day it so happened that when swaminathan had nothing to do in one afternoon he was lazing around he was trying to put a lens and make a camera but it was not working and he was getting very upset and angry that is the time when one of his friends from the previous school uh, that is uh, albert mission that friend showed up and that friend asked him that wow how would it be if we start a cricket club or a cricket team so rajam said hey not me i am not the one who can play cricket so rajam convinced him by telling that even jack hobbs was not a cricketer before when he was young but he started playing cricket one day and he turned out to be a fantastic cricketer so the idea of starting this team was to challenge the board school team that is swaminathan's present school team okay they felt that they were they were unbeaten in the world so they wanted to break the dilemma the controversy started with the names okay so they were not able to get any of the names correct there were so many names which are coming up on the board they started noting down those names but they weren't able to fix any of those names so it so happened that at a given point in time swaminathan proposed that let us have two two names for one team one we will just use for our normal usage the other one will be used for professional usage right so even then there was a problem so it so happened that uh, rajam said that if we keep two names for one team we have to pay dual taxes to the government back then the british had imposed taxes for particularly everything on every indian citizen right that's the reason we were not independent right we were slaves because we had to pay taxes for everything so they said if we have two teams then we need to pay taxes twice that is the time when there was a fear lurking around in the minds of these little children that what to do in that case where do we get all the money to pay the taxes from that is the time when they thought of consulting their third friend money and money said don't worry about the team you see before you start any team it's very important to have a professional advantage and that professional advantage can be possible once you have a kit what do you mean by kit kit means that bag where you have a bat your pads gloves helmet groin guard all these things are very important for a cricket kid once you don't have a bat what team will you make so they decided ah oh, that's correct so we should we should order some bats balls stumps from messers bins this this word will be there in your chapter messers m e s s r s means proprietor 
whenever you go to any shop you will see this word m uh, m then you will see a slash and s this is the this means messers not misses messers means the name of the owner of the shop so messers bins right so back then this particular gentleman had a shop which sold sports goods hmm? and they decided to order few stocks like jun junior willard junior junior willard bat okay junior willard bat this was used by the school team of cambridge school hmm? so they thought of ordering it and that is why they wrote to mrs uh, mrs uh, bins that dear sir we need these products now here you will also see how india wanted to be free that time when swaminathan was asked to write the letter he didn't start with dear sir he said why should i tell dear sir i would write sir only because i am not a slave i don't work from him he doesn't pay me salary why should i tell him dear sir i would only start with sir right so there was so much of confusion so it's not easy to build a team my dear children but yes when there is a will there is a way so but you should keep playing sports right you should keep doing exercises and you should play cricket and football at your homes don't go outside okay don't stay outside because the corona scare is still not gone and this is the chapter i will share the notes with you right what you need to do is you need to study the chapter once and when we have our doubt clearance session on tuesday next week please ask me if you have any doubts or else we are going to have question answer sessions right children god bless you bye bye